What who have we got waiting for us in the race over there? A former uh, uh, employee, worked for our man, a former employee of the buzzer, saw the light, um, got yeah, out of there, and the joint's just trained off a bit. It has, and left. the joint he's gone to has gone through the roof. Yep. Exactly. So, so what it shows me is this man. Cream. This man mm. was the strength behind elite sports properties yep. and then has left and turned Richmond into a juggernaut yep. while Ned's, 100% correct. Ned's bobbing did. around in the ocean. Well, he has recovered, though, to be fair to the buzzard. He'll, he'll drive off the road if he uses this. Well, he, yeah, no, he has recovered. Well, Dan Richardson's the man <laughs> we're speaking of. <laughs> oh, oh, shaking the head. Oh, 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 I did oh, not. Oh, oh. Dan Richardson, did that, when he left, I know the buzzard's uh, franchise took a bit of a hit. What about... Gaz's affairs was there. Uh, no, Richo wasn't Richo in charge of that. No, was, he uh, wasn't my man. My you man, actually let Brad the buzzard Lloyd, run Brad, here. Brad Lloyd was my oh, man. Lua. Yeah. Part of the duties there, uh, the Lua used to have to go and uh, feed Gary's dog. That's it. Uh, at various stages. <laughs> vacuum his house. Oh, vacuum his house. Oh, there. Serious? Well, what else do they do? You force uh, him into football as well. Lua. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah. In fact, and uh, I'm no. This is the. On my phone, I used to have, if you can't get a hold of me, ring Brad Lloyd. Is right? he still getting that? And I just left it there for, oh, for a year and a half. And he's such a good bloke, he never said anything. He would just forward on all the calls. A hey, random question. I, I like doing these in the Richard Marsland studios because it just takes you laterally. If you weren't doing this job, what would you be doing? In the workforce, what job would you do in the workforce? <laughs> Making millions, I would be. I don't know what doing. I'd be a, I think I'd be a good butcher. Would you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, where's oh, this no, going? I'm feeling Where's agree. this going oh, to? No, I'm watching on the telly as we speak. There's a story on me. I reckon I... Glimpy Gourmet. Oh, I, done it again. I could get a job there. Shameless. I could get a job out the back Shameless. there, Chief, and I reckon you'd I'd be a good butcher. You'd have Shameless. to be out the back in the cool room. You couldn't be up the front. Not with the front, customers. no. You not be a front, front of house. house. Although, you have to talk you, to people. I'll ask you this question as an extension of that, Duke. Have you ever, ever met a Naki butcher? Never. They're always up, aren't they? That's Never a good point. in your life That's a really good point. Very nice Narky. people. Why is that? I don't know. They're just friendly people, aren't they? Yeah, but everyone's friendly towards butchers too. Yeah, but... Because <laughs> they're carrying a big knife in their hand. There's some sort of pheromone in the meat that turns them nice. Mm. Pheromone. A happy pheromone. Maybe really Chief could point. get it done. Yeah. Chief. Yeah. You should spend I'll more get, time in butcher shops. I'll talk to <laughs> my man thing. Josh and see if he can get your job out the back yeah, carving yeah, up yeah. some rissoles. I'd like to borrow their knife. Football operations manager at the Richmond Footy Club's in the race. Yeah, at the Adelaide Oval. Richo, welcome to you. Yeah, thank you, boys. I think the buzzard's trained off too, has he or not? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not sure. I haven't seen him for a while.